our uh, guest on the program today is uh, Rachel Selzer, who uh, has the idea of aging in place. About 97% of older Americans want to age in place, and uh, the rest homes have their place, but uh, a lot of folks say uh, just do not want to go to a rest home. And you have developed a program called Safe Haven 360. Will you des- uh, describe that uh, concept to us? Yes, Roy, thank you so much for having me. And you're right, 97% of older adults want to age in place. But of that 97%, 90, 90%, which is a big stat, of the family members want to help their loved ones age in place safely, successfully, right? So we developed our safe haven membership community, right? And what better time? This month is Older Americans Month. So it's a perfect time for us to launch our new Safe Haven membership community, as well as, yes, our Safe Haven 360 plan. We wanted to be able to create a way to give our loved ones um, the option to continue living in their homes, preserving purpose and helping them thrive and empowering them. So what better time, and especially today when most people do want to age in place to launch our Safe Haven 360 plan. And our Safe Haven 360 plan, it's a very holistic virtual audit. And we have a Safe Haven team of registered nurses and occupational therapists all coming to the, to the table, wealth of knowledge and experience with aging in place. And we look at all kinds of things from health and wellness to safety and security. The registered nurse checks in monthly with our loved ones, see how they're doing, see if they need new resources. But in addition to that, we provide access to all of our safe haven providers. So, you know, if our loved one's having a difficult time getting in and out of the shower, um, we make sure to access that resource to one of our safe haven providers who might be a handyman or ADA compliant general contractor, get someone in there to either install a grab bar or maybe um, install a step-free seamless shower. So, And we, uh, we know that all it takes for an older person to maybe find themselves no longer able to live in their home is just one fall. So home modification and maintenance, and some of that is provided, or the funding to that is provided through some state and federal agencies but uh, yeah. I'm sure that you have a vetting process for those who you would recommend to do those kind of projects. You know what, you're absolutely right. Look, aging in place with a stat like 97%, it is um, something that is on everyone's mind, not just older adults, but adult children like myself. I wish there was a safe haven program uh, for my grandmother, you know, when she had a fall um, as well. Um, Life is unpredictable, and that's why we call it a plan, because you don't know what's going to happen. And we are aiming and we are trying to educate uh, families and older adults to be proactive instead of reactive. And you're right, um, Medicare or insurances, they do cover um, a home safety assessment when it is warranted by the physician. But that is really focusing just on fall prevention or identifying tripping hazards. The wonderful um, approach, the holistic approach that Dwell Assured has with their Safe Haven 360 plan is going way above and beyond that, looking at um, how someone just can function in their home, uh, accessibility. We look at the home maintenance, um, if there's any financial needs house-sitting, home care. We partner with wonderful home health companies. So it's above and beyond. And in addition, we're providing them the access and all the resources. We've done the work for them. We've taken the guesswork out. So we're we providing a, uh, I was going to say, we have a lot of churches in our area, as well as the uh, local departments on aging and some others. They will have a large body of volunteers who can uh, come in and have a pretty good, nice ramp installed into a person's house, usually uh, by lunchtime on Saturday morning. So uh, that, that uh, in some cases, it's fully provided. In some cases, it says if you can buy the material, we'll do the labor. So there are agencies and volunteers out there that are willing to help out a little bit. Let me talk, uh, ask you some about the 
safety and security aspects. We constantly have news articles about older adults that are getting getting ripped off or basically getting robbed even by supposedly loving family members. You're absolutely right. Um, and that is why we develop these uh, five pillars to our safe haven membership program. Look, we feel everyone deserves to live and thrive in a safe haven. You're right. It's very easy. Anyone can, you know, uh, rent a ramp, build a ramp. The idea is that we want to help not only the older adults, but their adult children um, to create that safe haven. The safety and security is above and beyond, like we mentioned, fall prevention and identifying tripping hazards. It's the security of the accessibility to make sure that they can easily and safely get in and out of their front door, any exit way, in the event of an emergency. It's the idea that they can, you know, get up and go if the phone rings or answer the door. It's security making sure that with age, with, you know, changes in our body, the locks might need to change to be more ergonomic, right? More friendly for someone who has some joint stiffness in their hands so that they can easily unlock and lock their door. So there's such a variety of services that are required out there for someone to truly age in place successfully now, a year from now, and five years from now. Let me talk, uh, uh, or have you rather, to talk a bit about health and well-being. I know in our area, the Department of Aging has uh, some state and federal funds to where they can uh, partner with a local agency to be able to provide that in-home aid, uh, either on a couple hours a day or in some cases, even longer periods of time during the day. Can you uh, comment about that part of it? Yes. Um, health and well-being, and one component of that, as you mentioned, Roy, is requiring whether someone to come in, you know, needing an assistance or, or supervision with just your daily tasks, or sometimes, you know, companionship, having someone there um, to maybe uh, get something out of the stove and uh, onto the table to help with eating or feeding. Um, the beauty with Dwell Assured, we have over 60 service provider categories that we address, one of those being uh, home health care services, which does address um, needing an aid or assistant or RN or medical care to come in and assist our loved ones, whether it's with personal everyday care or laundry tasks or um, housekeeping. But you did touch on a really uh, good point and a really strong point. We see a, a lot of older adults these days deal with isolation, social isolation, which is connected to depression. So when we talk about well-being, we also look at resources and ways and work with the older adults and their families to be able to connect them to their community, figure out if it's an accessibility issue, if maybe they're too scared to get out their front door because they had a fall or they can't maneuver themselves. So we make sure we set up all of those resources so that that person can feel connected again and thrive within their community because that is our goal. We want everyone to keep living, feel empowered and thrive above and beyond, you know, the fall prevention, scattered rugs or identifying tripping hazards. Such things as meals on wheels and in our county we have like a congregate meals program which encourages people to get out and have those relationships and those can to give meaning and purpose to a person's life. Um, yes. How can people, how can, uh, you can comment on that, but I also want you to be sure and uh, tell our listeners how they can get the information about Safe Haven 360. Yes, please visit our, web, our website, safehavenforseniors.org. We have wonderful information and resources. It talks all about our membership and 360 plan. We have a, a number on there. They can easily call, connect, and I'm I'm the occupational therapist. I would be performing their audit. So I it's something I'm very passionate about, and I feel that, as you mentioned, with even the Meals on Wheels, we do look at that. A lot of times our older adults are suffering, suffering from a nutritional standpoint because they're not able to make themselves maybe a complete meal getting the nutrients and vitamins they need and they might not have the ability to even connect to the meals on wheels and that's where we come in we're we're really their guide their navigator for their whole plan and getting them the resources and connecting them to it as they need it 
Well, uh, Rachel Seltzer, I appreciate your passion, and I can feel it in this interview, and uh, you're having developed this and, cre- uh, and dedicated a life and a career uh, for this aging of patient for our older Americans, and I, I'm grateful to you for what you do, and thank you for your time on the program today. I appreciate it. Love to come back anytime, Rory. Thank you for having me. All right, we'll do that, and uh, I'll take you up on that offer. I mean, if you're serious about it, I'll call you again. I would love to. You know, and also, uh, Mother's Day and Father's Day is coming up. I mean, what a great present. Sometimes we don't know what to get our loved ones. A Safe Haven membership is a wonderful gift to give to our loved ones. So, I will call you in June. I, I will call you in June, and we'll talk about that. I think that's a great idea, Roy. I look forward to it. I, I, you know, I feel the same way. It is really nice to speak to someone who is just as passionate and knows how important it is to be proactive, you know, get a plan in place instead of reactive, and I, I would enjoy it. Thank you. Well, oh, all right. Well, that's terrific. You have a great rest of the day. You too, Roy. Thank you very much. All right. Bye-bye. Bye.